is a uh, GPU computing leader in the industry. We want to show our partnership as well as our commitment to the HPC and slash AI community. Uh, well, from a media perspective, uh, first of all, we started investing in the world of HPC in the applications, the top for starting with the top 10 applications and currently reached over six, 700 applications. And with that one, there are obviously uh, various number of applications that are now GPU accelerated already thanks to the developers all around the world and using the tools that we created on the software side. Uh, right now there is, I don't know the exact quantity, but a, a good number of top 500 systems are uh, GPU accelerated as well. Again, thanks to the developer community, the HPC community and the support we have gotten. Uh, currently, as uh, many of the viewers have heard about, it's the world of AI that is booming, right? So and not only AI itself for the enterprise world, but also for the world of the HPC. Uh, the, the, the merge of AI and HPC is kind of an interesting topic. We keep hearing that more and more. Uh, so a lot of developers and scientists are looking at how to use GPUs uh, to enable uh, AI features or integrate AI into their HPC workflow. This machine is uh, used specifically for deep learning training. Right, it's, it's custom designed just for that purpose. Yes, you can use it for standard HPC applications as well. And the more, um, I guess, AI features get built into standard HP or traditional HPC applications, the more this machine may be useful. Uh, but at the moment, it is literally all about deep learning training. Uh, basically, a custom designed or jointly designed solution between HP and NVIDIA that can hold up to eight of the Tesla V100s, which is this GPU right here that I'm holding in my hand. And each of these boxes, these are actually coolers. Uh, the eighth one is actually down here. Uh, basically is housing eight of these Tesla V100 GPUs that I talked about. Um, it's a massive compute performance that you can get out of this box. From a data center um, a responsible person perspective or an IT person perspective, when it comes to AI, with, you have to start thinking a little bit differently than in the past. Uh, because AI requires you to think about two things. One, what, am I, what system, what type of system am I going to need to use for deep learning training? Secondly, what type of system do I need for the inference piece? Deep learning is when you're uh, uh, using a system or multiple systems for getting the most uh, accurate, most accurate uh, training the fa at the fastest time possible. For that, you need maximum number of GPUs in one single node and multiple of them. And Apollo 6500 is one perfect system custom designed just for that purpose. So once your AI network is trained, and now you want to move that train network over to your inference servers that can be lightweight, if you will, from a GPU perspective, uh, like a HP DL380 or DL360, a smaller servers, if you will, that can also house smaller GPUs that we also custom designed for that purpose, called Tesla P4. Um, and that's kind of a cycle, if you will. High-performance computing is a critical element in the path to scientific discovery. And today, the uh, scientists, they don't have enough compute power to actually um, you know, uh, get to their findings in their lifetime. Um, with accelerated computing, we're able to shorten the, taf to the path to, to discovery by speeding up you know, calculation by a factor of 10x, for instance. Um, we are using um, GPU in uh, high-performance computing in various domains. Um, computer, computational chemistry, for instance, is one with applications like VASP and um, Gromax and Amber, NAMD and so on. Um, but in every domain of, of HPC there is applicability for, for GPU. In, in the space of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, without the GPU, you could not uh, get the training done in any reasonable, reasonable amount of time, so methods like deep learning were not actually put in practice. Uh, with the GPU power unlocking um, deep learning, so this is opening new fields for, for science. So we are on a, on a good trajectory of 1.5x uh, uh, improvement year over year, you know, from, uh, the, 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 if you look back in the couple generation, the, the nice thing about the GPU is that we have 
a, an architecture that is very well suited to scalability and we can add cores, we can add, uh, dedicate some cores to specific function and really we don't really see any uh, um, ceiling in, in terms of uh, performance going forward. There is a, a double um, uh, communication between HPC and AI. In, in, in one sense, AI needs HPC uh, because AI needs a lot of uh, compute power. And on the other side, AI can help boost HPC. So this is a demonstration of um, AI inferencing. So you have a live stream uh, video where uh, you see cars and the camera is auto-detecting the license plate, the car model, the color, and so on. NVIDIA's story in AI literally started in 2012. Yeah? So a researcher named uh, Alex Kurizewski in the University of Toronto, which also obviously comes from the research community, uh, decided to use a couple of NVIDIA GPUs to, to accelerate his uh, AI network for image recognition. And he won that year's uh, AlexNet, uh, sorry, uh, image competition called ImageNet. And the following year, every uh, competitor was using NVIDIA GPUs. Um, so from then on, NVIDIA's star really started shining, if you will. And we started every enterprise, every, well, I should start with the researchers, right? So the whole uh, ecosystem started waking up, uh, f starting with the researcher education, higher education research community. It then uh, moved over to the uh, cloud vendors, if you will. Anyone from Amazon Cloud to Google Cloud is, is started using GPUs and uh, offering the GPU services to the, the companies or the startups. And that spawned into more enterprises using and startups that are using GPUs again for AI development. Uh, and again, we're seeing it across the board from retail to financial institutions for fraud detection, for example, uh, to manufacturing of the obvious example of self-driving cars. Um, to, to drug design and with HP uh, we partners now, now so that they can actually also enable our joint customers with deep learning and uh, uh, know-how and get going with their projects. Uh, that's, that's kind of a new, not so new, but it's a new um, information that a lot of folks that do not know. Uh, we'd like to invite our customers and uh, partners to be able to take advantage of that.